Can Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6 be used to prove that Jesus is God when it mentions there that Jesus is in the form of God? What is the image of God that Jesus reflects? The Bible, the basis of our faith in the Church of Christ, which answers questions about proper worship, the right relationship with God, and most importantly, salvation. That's in the Bible. I'm Bob Pauline, and welcome to this program, That's in the Bible. In one of our other programs produced here in the Church of Christ called Face the Truth, received a comment and presented the argument that in fact Jesus is God. It went like this, who is the God in their midst? Jesus is God, Philippians 2, verse 5 and 6. Thank you, Daniel Bulos, for your comment and the opportunity today to clarify if the verses you have mentioned, Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6, or any other biblical verse for that matter, does teach that Jesus Christ is God at all, or can be used as biblical evidence of the second person of the so-called Trinity. Well, Let's frame our topic of discussion around three important questions presented. Number one, how is Jesus Christ described in Philippians 2 verses 5 and 6? Number two, is being in the form or image of God, does that mean the same as being God? And number three, can this verse be used as proof that Jesus Christ is God? Well. Let's start off by simply reading what is actually contained in the verses in question, that again being Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who, being in the form of God, did not consider it robbery to be equal with God. How, dear friends, is Jesus Christ described here in Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 and 6? Here, the Bible describes Christ Jesus as being in the form of God. We need to point out just how important it is to learn and find out what is actually written in the Bible. Because if not, one could easily be misled. So the comment posted in YouTube was, Jesus is God. Yet the verse does not say Jesus is God, did it? Rather, it said that Christ Jesus is in the form of God. So, what does the Bible teach us? What is the Bible actually saying to us when it teaches that Christ Jesus is in the form of God? Well, we don't want, nor can we give our own meaning, our own explanation to that, so let's just continue to get our answers from here, the Holy Bible. So we turn to 2 Corinthians this time, also the writings of Apostle Paul, chapter 4, verse 4, wherein his response is, is this, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. So here, dear friends, Apostle Paul described Christ as being in the form of God, as uh, mentioned in Philippians chapter 2 here, as someone who is in the image of God. So we need to ask, is being in the form or image of God, does that mean the same as being God? Does this point to God and Jesus as being the same being? Not at all. It's two very different things. In fact, being in the image of God actually proves that Christ Jesus is a man and not God himself. But wait, how, how is that? Why, why, why is that the case? Why is being in the image of God, how does that prove that one is not God, but rather a man? Because the Bible says the following in uh, Genesis, Genesis chapter, chapter 1, verse 27, 
it reads this way. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him male and female. He created them. Here, dear friends, the Bible clearly teaches that God created man in his own image. Therefore, if someone is described as being in the form or image of God, we are so sure that's not proof of being God, but rather, in fact, instead, evidence of being man. Why? If all of us as created human beings are created in the image of God, knowing that we were all created in the image of God as humans, dear friends, nobody's trying to say that we, all of us, are, uh, as images of God, are in fact God too. So why would they say that about Jesus when the Apostle Paul wrote there that Jesus is in the form or the image of God? Now you might be wondering, since we all have our unique identities and no two human beings are exactly alike, how is it then that we are created in the form or the image of God? Is this a, a, a visual or, or a physical image, physical form? Again, we get our answer turning to the Holy Bible and we do so uh, this time turning to the book of Deuteronomy 4, 15, where the following is recorded. Take careful heed to yourselves, for you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you at Horeb, out of the midst of the fire. So dear friends, this verse clearly shows that the Lord God has no visual or physical form or image. When Moses spoke to God, God reminded him, for you saw no form when the Lord spoke to you. Dear friends, since this is the case, that God has no physical form or uh, image, in fact, he's uh, invisible or he's a spirit. What does it mean? Then that we were created in the image of God. For that, we, we again turn to the Holy Bible, again, the writings this time of Apostle Paul, once more, Ephesians 4, 24, wherein it records, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. And even in other translations of this verse, it's stated there that we were created in God's image, God-like in true righteousness and holiness. So dear friends, the form or image that we were created to be in is true righteousness, true holiness. And this is God's purpose in creating people. And this is how we should strive, of course, then to live our lives. Why is it that if we live our life righteous or holy, then we fulfill God's purpose of creating us to be like him or to be in his image? Why is that? The explanation comes from Apostle Peter. He clearly responds to that important point here in 1 Peter uh, chapter, chapter 1, and let's read together verse 15 and 16. But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Dear friends, our Creator is holy. And he created us to be in the image of holiness, which is why God instructs very clearly here. He said, be holy, for I am holy. So the lives that we're expected to live should therefore reflect God's holiness. True holiness, however, it's not just anyone's own perception of what holiness should be. How then can one become holy and therefore be in the image of God. Becoming holy is accomplished by following God's words, God's laws. Why? Because His words have the power to sanctify, to make one holy. His words have the power to cleanse. John 17:17. 17, 17. Living unholy or living in sin is breaking God's law. And that's recorded in 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. So, God created us 
with the intention of living holy lives. That's the purpose. But here's a question, dear friends. How many people have actually been able to meet that expectation? Let's read from the Bible once again this time. In the writings of Apostle Paul to the Romans in chapter 3, verse 23, he wrote, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The reason mankind has not yet fully become the image of God is because all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But there is one exception. Who's the only one to achieve living in the image of God? This time, Apostle Peter tells us that in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse uh, 20, uh, 21 and, uh, and 22. For to this you were called, because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you should follow his steps, who committed no sin, nor was deceit found in his mouth. Your friends, the only one, only one able to reach the expectation of God to live in His image, to reflect His image, is Christ Jesus. And how did He do this? Answer of the Bible that we just read. The Bible clarified it. He did that by committing no sin. Perfect. Therefore, Christ Jesus was able to be in the form or image of God. But is not God himself. So, can Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6 then be used as a proof that Christ Jesus is God? No. Why? Jesus being in the image of God is not proof or biblical evidence that Jesus is God? No. So we started out this discussion with these three main questions in mind. Let's review what we have learned from the scriptures we have read together. We asked, number one, how is Jesus Christ described in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6? Answer we received from the Bible. Christ is described as being in the form or image of God. It does not say, however, that Jesus is God. Number two, we asked, is being in the form or image of God, does it mean the same as being God? No, not at all. God made, in fact, all mankind to be in His image. The Bible teaches that we were created, all human beings were created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Number three, we asked, well, then can Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 and 6 be used as proof that Jesus Christ is God? No. Anyone trying to use these verses as proof that Christ is God, well, does not yet understand what's actually contained in the verses. This is also the reason why we produce this content, to help correct any misunderstanding or misuse of what's actually written in the Bible. Well, dear friends, we'd like you to continue learning about the Iglesia Ni Cristo, the Church of Christ, and to do so, please visit us online and browse the different topics and view our programming. Set up an appointment to meet with a minister of the gospel here in the Iglesia Ni Cristo, Church of Christ. Because if you have any questions about the Bible or salvation, you need to receive the answers. You can also email questions to us here. I'm Bob Pauline. Thanks for watching. See you next time right here on That's in the Bible.